Okay? Stay there. Do not come anywhere close to us. I'll consider you obstructing us. You can be under arrest or detained. You understand that? Is obstruction physical? Your ridiculous questions are so annoying. I'm not going to entertain that. What's okay? section three of I'm the telling you to stay away from us. And freedoms. End of story. What's section three? Hello, citizens. Today we're going to be doing a dive into nanoparticles again. Thanks to High Impact Flicks and his tweet about the potentiality of transhumanism through nanoparticles, nanorobots. As always, the link's in the description. I tried to find a list of products containing nanoparticles or nanotechnology. So I went to nanotechproject.tech. And perhaps the most interesting thing, when you click on newly added products, it diverts you from nanotechproject.tech to nanotechproject.org where you can buy male enhancement, uh, muscle building, and brain optimizing products. Yes, it diverts you to a spam website. Just again, newly added products to the spam website. Isn't that interesting? So I click on all products, A to Z, and I only got to A, N before I found some pretty interesting stuff. And we'll start with aluminum, of course, one of my favorites on this channel where I've looked at aluminum hydrate previously. I'm looking at aluminum oxide, and you'll find that they're very similar. Very similar. It diffuses any light that the skin reflects. Interesting. Interesting. Diffuses light, you say. So, if it was sprayed in the air on a sunny day, something like this would happen? This is a clear day. This is a clear day. Yep, blue skies everywhere. Completely blue. The sky is blue. And here we see preparation to simulate cool down as the sun goes down. The spraying begins. And as we've seen, the spraying increased tenfold or more over the past two years we have increased irritation of the lungs, nose, and eyes. Aluminum oxide when inhaled can irritate the nose, throat, and lungs causing coughing, wheezing, and or shortness of breath. It could even stop you from breathing or stop your heart. Remove the person from exposure Begin rescue breathing using universal precautions if breathing has stopped and CPR if heart action has stopped. Transfer promptly to a medical facility where you may be put on a ventilator. Hmm. Hmm. As we've explored in a previous video, when nano aluminum is added to water, it attaches to the oxygen and expels the hydrogen molecule causing a heat reaction. We've also seen in previous videos that the ozone layer is no longer functioning due to free oxygen atoms not being able to attach to O2 in order to create O3 molecules. Now, how could we take this single oxygen atom out of the equation? by spraying nano-aluminum. That's how. But we've also noted that the aluminum is coated in some type of oil. And this is what where we have the central dispersal, whereas these four outer are spraying pure nano-aluminum in order to connect with the air's moisture this middle one sprang in oil that will coat it after the process has happened. And you can see titanium dioxide in sunscreen targeted towards children, copper tone, 
trust the copper top. You are the copper top, so trust yourself. And another material I found on this site was zeolite, which you can see here is 100% safe and non-toxic by the FDA. Except for zeolite releases CA2 plus into, into blood, thus accelerating the intrinsic pathway of blood coagulation and shortening the clot formation time. 100% safe unless you count blood clots. Sound familiar? Antibacterial for necessities. Ceramics. Medicine. It's, it's medicine, guys. It's necessary. Now, this one points to nano silver. There's a lot of talk about how silver is good for you. Well, it may be, but why we use nano particles is because they're so versatile and so we attach it with this C4 of GB15979-2002 whatever that is so this one's classified as unsubstantiated but the name of the company includes nanotechnology in the title this means that they're not telling you exactly what's in it when we look at what GB blah 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 2002 is in with attached to nano technologies face masks that's right face masks don't worry government would never kill us with toxic linens or tell you something's good for you and it's bad like medicine or protective equipment or suggest you put it near your reproductive organs no we would never do that government would never do that so big thanks to high impact flicks here's the deal on youtube stay strong citizens fuck justin trudeau fuck justin trudeau freedom is a must freedom is a must